Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop. This is where it all happens. This is the workshop area. Um, you've probably seen on the website that I'm retiring. Now, <laughs> it's not the end of the Radio Workshop. What I'm doing is I'm stopping all repair work. Uh, I'm concentrating on the members area of the website, various other aspects, uh, service manuals in the members area, all sorts of things like that, which I want to add to and improve. So I'll have a lot more time to concentrate on the members area. I'm still going to be working on these. This is a Bush DAC-90A. There we are, you recognise that. There's the, there's the cabinet. The reason I'm prodding on with these is because over the years, over the decades, I've collected so many spares for these, I've specialised in these basically, that I thought, well, I might as well carry on until my last day on the bench working on these. Anything else, Murphy, um, HMV, Marconi, anything else, I don't have even valves for anymore. They've all gone. I don't have parts at all. That's why I'm purely going to work on the Bush DAC-90A radios up until the day I retire. Um, I've set the date at the moment for the end of February. That's a little bit adjustable, <laughs> if you like. Um, I'm just going to see how I get on with the repairs. It's adjustable because I've got, uh, let me see, I've got a couple of these coming in next week. A couple of people have said, two or three I think, have said they're going to get their DAC 90As to me in February. So I'm going to see how it goes. I, I don't want to say that is the cutoff date and someone's posting a radio to me and I say, no, I'm not doing it because it's now two minutes past midnight. You know, you've, you've lost the cutoff date. So it is a little bit flexible. I don't know whether you notice a bright light here. It's the sunshine. I'm looking out of the window, it's beautiful blue sky. The spring is on the way, the summer is on the way. I've got my Lister engine, uh, Lister Type D stationary engine. There's a quick picture of it. I want to work on that uh, outside. That'll be nice. I've got my amateur radio gear, the other half of the uh, the room here, this is the radio room, workshop side here, amateur radio side there. I want to get into that, improve my Morse code speed. So there's a lot I want to do. Um, but going back to the radio workshop, I've written an e-book, I obviously a couple of years ago, about adding Bluetooth uh, technology to a vintage valve radio. It's been hugely successful. It's only, what is it, 395 or whatever. I've sold several hundred. <laughs> it's quite amazing, all around the world. And people have said, have you any other e-books? Uh, I haven't at the moment. I want to write some more e-books. Yeah, I love doing them with the illustrations and diagrams, photographs, in, you know, in PDF format so you can download and print them. I want to get on with that. Spare parts, when I finally finish, I'll have a load of spare parts for vintage radios, mainly the Bush DAC 90A, oh, and the 90, the 90, the DAC 10. Um, I'll be putting those on the website, uh, probably via eBay, because it's easy to sell. So there's a lot I want to get on with. And for the members watching this, don't worry, there will be chassis on the bench. A lot of people have said about signal generators. How do you restore one of those? How do you repair? You know, what I want to do is get a signal generator on the bench, test equipment and show people how to replace capacitors, that sort of thing. Um, how to use the oscilloscope. I want to concentrate more on that. A lot of people, are, uh, these are the members. Uh, you know, how do you repair, a, uh, how do you use, rather, a, an oscilloscope? There's so much I want to go through. And the Marconi valve tester I'm working on. I've got a Mark I uh, valve characteristic meter. I want to get that on the bench. People have said, can you do a video of it, of repairing it? Yes, I'll be able to do all this sort of thing once I stop the repair work itself. So that's the plan. After 55 years, can you believe that? I started in a radio and TV workshop when I was 15. I was an apprentice radio and TV engineer. 15, I'm coming up to 70 any minute now. Well, not quite any minute now. 55 years. I think that's enough, don't you? I mean, I've loved doing it. I've loved the repair work, but as I've said, there are so many other things I want to do. If you fancy having a go at repairing radios yourself, whether as a hobby, 
or you're into restoring radios anyway, perhaps you want to do it as a business, I don't know. Have a look at the members area. There are literally hundreds of videos. Um, I do weekly videos and I think I'm on week, uh, what is it, 405, I think now, something like that. Thousands of service manuals in there. I'm adding service manuals all the time. So if you are thinking of having a go yourself, certainly have a look at the members area. Just go to the main website, radioworkshop.co.uk. So I really am looking forward to getting my teeth into other things. As I say, amateur radio, the engine in the summer. Be out there in my shorts. <laughs> no, I better not wear my shorts. I might frighten the neighbours. Anyway, that's it. So DAC 90 as yes, I'm carrying on with to the end of February, approximately. We'll see how it goes. And keep an eye on the website. The website is not closing. Thanks for watching as always. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.